What are these students arguing about? They're arguing about a problem that was posed in 1916 and remains unsolved. But it's a great way to practice addition. Here's how it works. You start off with two magic hats and you add numbers to them, starting at one, then two, then three and four, and you keep on adding numbers to either hat until you run into a problem. And here's a problem. We can't add six to this hat because it would explode because two plus four is equal to six. And we can't add six to this hat because one plus five is equal to six. Mm. How high can you get? Your first task to give your students is to get them to place the numbers 1 through 8 into these two hats so that there's no explosions. You can also, if it's Halloween, you can also change it from a magic hat theme to a bubbling cauldron theme, double double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Let's look at the solution. So, there's only one solution to this problem. The numbers 1, 2, 4, and 8 must go in one cauldron, and the numbers 3, 5, 6, and 7 must go in the other cauldron. This will likely take your class a little bit of time to figure out, but some kids will do it fast. What do you do with them? Well, you add a bubbling cauldron, or you add a magic hat, and you get them to try to get as high as they can. None of your children should be expected to find the best possible solution. So this becomes a mini competition in your class to see how high student groups can get. The first time I tried to solve this problem, I added one, two, three, four, like this, and I got pretty far, but I'm sure your kids can do better because I got stuck at 10. I can't add 10 to this hat because 1 plus 9 is equal to 10. I can't add 10 to this hat because 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. And I can't add 10 to this hat because 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. Let's look at some kids that are struggling with the problem but have done better than me. What is 2 plus 5? Whenever students make a mistake, get them to remove all of their pieces and start from scratch. No. Oh, it exploded! It does. 2 plus 5 equals 7. Hey, oh. so not, no, not that one. No, we have to, no, we have to start all over. Start again. A week after you present this problem to your class, why don't you show them the best possible solution? It starts off very much like the two-pot solution, but then things get interesting. The highest number that you can possibly get to is 23. And there's a solution right there. Where is the unsolved problem of mathematics here? Well, things get very difficult to solve with four pots, but with five pots they become unsolved. No one knows the solution for five pots and higher. The person responsible for posing this problem in 1916 was I say sure. He had a tragic life. He became a full professor in 1919 in Germany, but he was a Jew. He didn't consider himself a Jew, he considered himself a German, but he was a Jew, and of course the Nazis latched onto that. He was offered positions in both the US and in Britain, but he declined them and he persisted in trying to hold on to his position in Germany. It was futile and he ended up um, moving to Palestine and dying in poverty on his 66th birthday. We honour this man by bringing his problem to grade 2 students everywhere. If you go to the www.mathpickle.com website, you will find PDF files of both cauldrons 
and magic hats that you can use in your classroom. Enjoy. Three plus five. Three plus five. Eight. Yeah. Huh? Uh, five. No. no. Oh, you were so close there. I exploded. That was no fair. <laughs> Evil little seven.